find most data. Dr. Aphrodis Kagawa, the executive director of Health Development Initiative, an independent non-governmental organization aimed at improving both the quality and accessibility of healthcare through advocacy, education and training, told a press briefing that it is still difficult to access contraceptives and other sexual reproductive health care services. To deal with this challenge, he advised that societies needed to be empowered to be able to make sound decisions on their reproductive health. Not only students, but also even the young people should have access to condoms. I don't think it's also easy for a young boy or a young girl in a village to go and buy a condom if they are there. Because the stigma. Everyone who would see you would tell the story to all your neighbors that they saw you buying a condom. Or... So it's, it's a very complicated conversation, but we believe that we have to keep the conversation going. The media, he said, should play its role in fighting the stigma by creating spaces for informed conversations on sexual reproductive health and rights to take place. Because in the end, we need people who are making policies, people who are implementing programs to do so with the right information to make informed decisions. Because the, when we forget about data, young people are sexually active. Talk to schools, do some surveys. They will tell you they, have, they are sexually active. Look at DHS, sexually active, starting as early as 12, 13. Some of them have boyfriends, girlfriends, and we are trying to ignore it. We don't want to open that discussion. The rate at which numbers of teenage pregnancies are going up is worrying, says Lydia Muthiani a senior attorney at Women's League Worldwide, a non-governmental organization that uses the power of the law to promote social change that advances the human rights of women and girls. Part of what has been posited is that there needs to be comprehensive sexuality education which is given. And this starts from a place where teenagers at that point, they're having changes in their bodies. They need to understand what that means and what precautions they should take and what options are available to them on top of also enjoying the act of of having sex because that is an eventuality we can try to to say that it doesn't happen but it does happen yeah but very importantly is to educate them about family planning methods and options that information has to be available in that way we are protecting against unintended pregnancies these pregnancies should really not be happening when it comes to teenagers the gaps, according to Lydia, lie on the lack of full implementation of the rights to sexual reproductive health care that are clearly stipulated and offered in both regional and national legal instruments across the continent. Once there is a lack of understanding that this lack of access leads to criminalization of women and girls. Why? Because if you don't have access, then there, there will probably be a bad outcome or a negative, for instance, a negative pregnancy outcome. And for that, women are then prosecuted and convicted for these crimes. They cannot even seek for help. If you suffer from a spontaneous abortion, then you go to hospital and then you are charged. You're reported for procuring an abortion. Document I want to refer you to. For KTN News in Kigali, Rwanda, I'm Eugene Anangwe reporting. Uh, some of the posts uh, from HDN and Women's League.